Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome back to the channel where I make how to videos. Time for another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add a root bone to Mixamo characters using this causal editor on UE 5.4. So you could go ahead to Mixamo.com, sign up, it's free, and then you could download some characters in here. But the only problem with this uh, characters, if you want to use them in Unreal Engine, is they don't have a root bone. So we're gonna add a root bone to these characters using the Skaldal Editor feature on UE 5.4 which is now in beta and then we're also gonna cover automatic retargeting and also fix some common issues after retargeting. Let's go! So I have the UE 5.4 project open here so I'm just gonna go to the content drawer creating new folder for Miximo and I'm gonna import the model that I just downloaded so I have this Calden which is on a particular TO pose I'm gonna import that cool and I'm gonna create another folder called animations and I'm gonna import the animation that I downloaded which is a hip hop dance so I'm gonna select the Mixamo character for the skeleton and import cool so going back one folder high I'm gonna open the skeletal mesh here uh, as you can see this one only has a uh, hips so we want to add a root bone to it now to enable the plugin just go to under edit and then plugins and search for skeletal mesh editing tools enable that say yes to the prompt and then restart the engine let me save everything cool so once that is enabled if I open the skeletal mesh again I should have this uh, new view here so the editor is different so I could click on the edit edit bones icon here and click on edit skeleton and then I could add a skeleton to this character so what I want to do is uh, create a new skeleton that would be on the root location here and then this hips would stay on the same location right so to add the root bone you can't just click uh, you can't just uh, create a new bone like so and try to reparent this hips to the to that new bone it just doesn't work so what works for me is I'll remove this is I'll duplicate the main hips bone so I'm gonna click on duplicate. It would create a new bone for me called hips one, which be which would be on the same location that it currently is. And then I'm gonna rename the hips to root. And I'm gonna reset the location and transform of that bone to move it down. And then the original hips that uh, was duplicated, I'm gonna uh, reparent that to the root. And for the spine, reparent back to the hips. Same with the left leg and the right leg. And I could rename this to back to hips. Cool. So now I have a root bone and I have the hips. The problem with this setup though is if I go under this edit skin weights and I click on edit weights. If I click on the root, you would see that there is some weight associated to that root bone, but nothing on the hips. So what you need to do here is weight paint the hips with the same uh, details that you have for the root. So this could get a little bit tricky, and I think weight painting is one of the hardest thing to do uh, when you're uh, modeling. Um, so what I normally do is I'll go to the hips and and hit the B shortcut so that I could reduce the radius if I drag it to the left it would re uh, decrease the radius if I uh, drag it down it would decrease the strength so I'm gonna reduce the strength around uh, this size 55 and I'm gonna start painting so I'm gonna select the hips I'm gonna start painting like so and do this a couple of times 
So if I switch to the root here, you would see that it's starting to get um, lighter as well. So let me increase the strength of my brush here. So it should be around 50 half. All right. And I'm going to paint it again. And if I look at the root, it's starting to get there. So I, I would do this for a couple of passes until it the main root bone here kind of disappears. So this is a lot of uh, precision, I would say, to make sure that the weight painting works. So I'll focus just on this area, on the main area. Cool. And then you need to do the same thing on the back. So several passes like so, and still more. Yep, yeah, that is looking better. And then I'll make some quick passes on the top and bottom. And I'm going to rotate. Check out the hips and make one pass on top, one pass at the bottom here, maybe a few more here at the bottom. Cool. Now, what I would do is remove the other weight paints on the root here now that I have the main hips painted. So, to do that, hold the control key and you could remove the weight paint on the part of the mesh. Cool. So do that on the front and also do that at the back. Hold the control key and just paint to remove those um, weight paint. So this is not perfect. And there's a little bit more there. Oops. I don't need to add that. Cool. And I think there's a little bit more there. Right. Once you're finished, go ahead, hit accept. And now, if I quickly save all, and you can just jump on the animation tab here and preview one of the, the animation that we did. So you would see that there's some slight mesh deformity on some areas like I could see it from here that's because of the way I removed some of the areas so you could go back here and click on edit weights again and then continue weight painting this until uh, the meshes are kind of um, lining up perfectly so that's one process to do it but now it has a root bone and the and, and we managed to weight paint it so for now let's give it like that and let's go ahead and retarget this. So if I go to the UE5 mannequin and open the animations and look for the APP Manny, I could right click on that and use this new feature, the retarget animations feature, which I covered in my previous video. And then I'll select that character and I select the APP Manny blueprint and all of this um, animations here. Oops, except, except this. I'll click on export animation and I could select the uh, folder that I want to save it to. So I'm going to save it there and click on export. Cool. And if I go back to my folder under animations, I should now see this animation blueprint. So I could go ahead and first rename this. So ABP uh, Racer. If I open that, uh, there's some deformities ha happening here. So if I open the anim graph, the control rig foot IK is not yet properly fixed. So we'll fix that in this video. So for, for now, I'm just going to detach it so it's not linked. Compile, save. So after compiling, I get this warning at the bottom here saying my fall loop uh, has a warning. So I'm just going to open that sequence. 
and uncheck the loop animation here. Compile, that should remove that warning. Cool. Let me save again. Now we could go to the third person template here, go under blueprints, and let's swap out the mesh. So click on the viewport, mesh, swap out the character skeleton with the racer, and select the uh, racer blueprint that was created for us. So when I compile, save, and hit play here on the level, uh, there's something wrong with the foot, we'll fix that, and when it runs, it looks fine. When it goes on the ramp, there's no foot IK, so we'll fix that as well. And also when the character jumps, there's this weird landing animation that it's doing. When I escape that, it's, it's going to tell me what the warning is. It's saying there's a non-additive animation on the MM land. So let's open up the animation that was uh, retargeted for us. So that's the MM land. And let's compare it with the uh, mannequin animation MM land. So there seems to be a bug here where some of the uh, additive settings are not copied. For example, here the local space frame from this animation and the frame rate is not uh, copied over. So we just need to copy that over manually on our character here. So under additive settings here, change it to local space, change that to frame from this animation, and then it's 26 frames. I hit save and play this now. So when I hit on jump, my animation landing for jump is now fixed. So the other thing that we need to fix and then we're done is the foot IK. So I covered this on a previous video, but I'll quickly cover it here. So we need to add some bones. Uh, so basically on my skeleton here, I need to add some virtual bones, um, which would act like IK bones. So um, if I go under root here, right click and select add virtual bone and search for, uh, yep, left foot. That would create a virtual bone for me on that position. And then do it again, say add virtual bone, say right foot. And now I have two virtual bones. Cool. Um, if you want more details on that, check out my previous video. So now I'll go to the mannequin rigs here and look for the CR mannequin basic foot IK. We're going to duplicate this so we don't have to recreate everything. And I'm just going to rename this to CR racer. And I'm going to move that to the Mixamo folder. Cool. So now let's open this up. So compile, uh, just remove that warning. But basically we want to swap out the mesh. So right click on the root here, select refresh, select mesh, and then select your uh, Mixamo character. Somehow it closes that window. So let me open it again. And now you can see that the, the mesh is now in the viewport here. And at the bottom section here, I have those um, virtual bones. So if I go look into this graph, um, it's doing a line trace on the virtual bones. So you need to replace those IK foot bones with the virtual bone that we just created. So this for the left foot, this for the right foot, and I think on step four, do it again there, VB left, VB right foot, and for the this modify transform uh, node, replace the pelvis with the hips because our character is using uh, that naming structure. And do it again here for the bone. Get the VB left foot, VB right foot. And then for the actual full body IK here, specify the actual bone. So this is the hips. And then for the bone here, so we have left foot. And this one is right foot. Compile, save. Now go back to your animation blueprint. And let's go back to the anim graph. And now 
we could connect the control rig. But first, we need to define the class that we just created. So under control rig class here, change that with the class that we just uh, control rig that we just uh, uh, created. Now you could wire this up. When I compile, our character snaps to the ground, which is what we want. Save, and now let's test this out. So now when our character walks on the ramp, the foot IK is now working. Jump is working as well, and all that good stuff. So one thing I want to test as well is the um, animation. So if I go under animations here for the hip hop dance, I'm gonna create a anim montage for this one. Save, go to my uh, third person character, go under event graph, and I'm just gonna create an event here. Say keyboard T. And when I press the keyboard, I wanna play an animation. And the animation montage is this dance. I compile, save, and let's test it out. So when I hit T, character should dance, do the break dance move. Cool. How cool is that? So there you go. Uh, how to add a root bow to your uh, character and then we target animations and then um, fix some of the retargeting issues with it. So hope you like this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Bye for now.